First on four, a little S and M. Pleasant surprise, sir, or indeed, madam, we don't get much passing seal trade here at the Brasserie Saint-Germain. What, can I get you a bucket of raw fish? Oh, please, 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 I'm trying to avoid all that. I'm off duty today, and um, I'm away from Marine World for a couple of weeks on vacation. So I see. Maybe I could just have a nice quiet meal, unassuming, with no fish, no fish, please. All right, I'll see what the chef recommends. Thank you. Well, sir, chef recommends... A basket of quail's egg on a raspberry and ginger coulis, mm. and pan-fried veal cutlet with potatoes dauphinoise and broccoli. Wow, that's fantastic. Um, Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Shall we start? <coughs> yes. Quail's egg first. Here we go. And up. <laughs> Bit of juggling. Good. And up and catch. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. Right, don't you? Yes, you do. You like it a lot. Yes, I got it. Two quail's eggs, two quail's eggs, and oh, jump. Okay. Oh. Where's your horn? There you go. Meh, meh. Yes, good, um, right. Here comes the... That's right. So how, how old do you want to say again? <laughs> yes, you... Okay. Please, you're embarrassing me, please. No, I'm like, you know. a sentimental nose kiss from human being. <laughs> yes, 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 that's right. Okay, and here come the different nose potatoes. And I'm going to ride you now. Ah. Ah. <laughs> yes. Good. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Yes. 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 Oh, please, I'm getting hard. Oh. <laughs> My bags are packed. Mm -hmm. They're in the hall down the other end of the pod. Fine. I'm taking our children, Eamon and Copernicus. Go, with us. go, just go. Get your starchy little butt out of here. Take them with you. I don't care. I just want to be alone. I just want to rot on the vine. Oh, you cruel bitch. You're wearing that pesticide that drove me mad. Stop it. <laughs> no, 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 stop. It's no good. I don't know how to love you. I guess you're gonna go and take the Rice and Weber records too, huh? Yes. <sighs> look at the stars. We're in a pod. How can we look at the stars? You're such a dreamer. I know. Do you remember Gloucestershire <sighs> when we first met? Mm -hmm. We were just little petty peas then. We could barely fill up the entire pod. Why did you let yourself go? You've turned into a huge tin of processed, marrow-fat, mushy, northern-type peas. Hydroponics. I can't help it. Hydroponics. I thought it was going to be a natural sort of life, but here I am with nutrients rushing in and out of me. Oh. What can I do but sit back and relax and get bloated? Is that it? If I was a thinner pea, would you be happy? <laughs> if it was a slightly oblong shape, not quite so green object, would that tickle your fancy? I'm going to kiss you till you faint. <laughs> Saturday night. Not exactly the kind of night for nothing but romance. But in this case, romance didn't have its name on my bullet. I was sitting alone at the Shanghai Inn, having a slow drink with a fast-talking bartender. My name's Dick. <laughs> Dick Thud, with two Ds. <laughs> I didn't think much was gonna happen. Joey set up another round. That knocked him over quicker than I thought. <laughs> Just about that time when the smoke had cleared, it had been so thick you could have cut it with a rubber-tipped spatula, she walked in. What you see? Sure, I like what I see. It looks pretty good. Of course, some men might call it 
a little unusual, a little <laughs> flagrante. But what the hell? It just proves to me that Barbara Windsor slept with Dirk Bogard. At least Edward Heath didn't sleep with George Melly. Sweetheart. <laughs> Enough exchange and pleasantries. I need your help. I see you're packing quite a piece. <laughs> if you don't have the safety catch on, we're both gonna get hurt tonight. Guess I'm firing blanks. Yeah, that makes it all the better. A stiff one? You haven't been to innuendo town lately, have you? Someone's following me and they want something I've got. I can't imagine what it is. It's this tin of cocktail cherries. I've heard of a woman keeping memories, but this is something else. Why do they want this so much? Wait, are these the famous Maltese cherries? Yes, they are. <laughs> These are worth a fortune. They fetch a high price on the antique market. What's a frail like you doing packing a load of cherries like this? <laughs> That's just one of the tricks I do. <laughs> well, you're not a dame at all. Well, you are, but maybe. I don't know. What do you want from me? I'll tell you what I want. <laughs> I want to be in charge of this town. <laughs> well, when you're wearing pants that short with an attitude like that, you're bound to run things, bub. Sure, I'm with you. What's the matter? It's blank. You said you can't have any blanks. Ha! Ah! 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 I'm glad you went down easy. I didn't want to have to use the lemon. <laughs> down, down, boy. Now, you just, you just relax there for a second. Why, Captain, good to see you again. I, I hope your position is mounted correctly. You go ahead and take the reins. You know, this is one of the finest stallions in all of my father's stables. Bucks, fizz. Do you want to go for a little ride? Why, sure. Don't move too fast. We got all the time to get to the ice cream social. All the time in the world. Get here. Yes. It's, it's commanding yes. presence you have with the animal. Yes, it's wonderful. Yes, so go now, now. Don't get carried away. We don't want him to hear. Him, him, him. Oh. Go, go on, coming up for a jump there. Here we go. Whoa. Oh. Yes. Here's another one. Here's a big one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. my riding crop. Waiter, I'm ready to order, thank you. Yes, sir, all of you. Uh, I'd simply like uh, the soup and the fish, please. Oh, very good. Um, so you'll be starting with the soup. That's... Would you like the soup served with anything? I'd like the soup served with a hint of disdain. <laughs> good. Um, and... May I suggest a sarcastic chuckle? A sarcastic chuckle which gradually becomes more menacing. Okay, good, and sir. if you could just, uh, you just round it off with a sense of lumbering futility. <laughs> Very good, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Waiter. Yes, sir. Was that a, not all right? No, that wasn't what I ordered. I didn't order it with a sense of one of the villains from Stingray. <laughs> a 
Take sorry, it away. Sir. I'll, 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 now, the fish, I'll then. Just would, have you, the fish. would you like the fish served with anything, sir? Please. <laughs> I'd like the fish served with a sense of a first love dimly remembered from a holiday in Tanganyika. <laughs> that, first, that first safari when you went with a group of people to catch a huge herd of gazelle as they gracefully <laughs> skirted the lake. Can't give you gazelle, sir. <laughs> Wildebeest, then. Very good. Excellent choice. Thanks. Waiter. Yes, sir. That was nearly what I ordered, except for the bit by Skippy at the end. <laughs> really, just take it away. Just take it away. I'll Wait, have a, I'll dessert, have... sir. The, a dessert. Yes, please. Good. Uh, we we have an excellent strawberry shortcake. I'll have the strawberry shortcake served with an initial whoop of camp abandon, <laughs> followed by a mounting sense of homicidal frenzy. Very good, <laughs> sir. Uh, with a cherry on top. <laughs> Very good, sir. Mm, come here. Mohammed. Gone. For the name of the Emperor! Where's your accent gone? <laughs> you cannot be kamikaze more for little Tulare! I'm from the south of Japan! <laughs> no, you're not! You're an imposter! You are a Yankee yes, moth! Yes, it is I, the Allied Winged Victory Moth! Out of my way, oh, you filthy bastard! I cannot help you! Ha ha! Another one bites the dust! They'll never discover the secret of the X-505 hydrogen-based light bulb! It's an American-made product! All right, kid. You've been working on it for a couple of months now. Let's see you take it out of the port by starting the thruster engines. A Class 7 battle cruiser. But with you at my side, I think I can do it. Yeah, kid. You're flattering. <laughs> Go ahead and check the thrusters. Check Quantum 7 Leap Retro Thruster. Good, good. Well, that seems to be working. Did full pulley. <laughs> Now try the ballast engines, nuclear ballast engines. Nuclear ballast neutrino 4789 engine. <laughs> good, That's good. not working so well. <laughs> well, a little chewing gum will fix that any time. The gravitational pull device, see if that's in full operation. Mode 7? Mode 7. <laughs> well, I, I should have used mode 8, shouldn't I? Yeah. Should I use mode 8? Go ahead and use mode 8. Good. That shipment Artur and Rhinos is going to get there safe. <laughs> okay. okay. Ready for blast off. Over you to got you, it. Commander. Take this. It's a broom. Put it over there. Right. Safe. Safety. Safety. Pong ball? Yes, the safety pong ball. Safety pong ball. When it ball. starts to smell, we're in big trouble. Remember that. Right. Keep that right up front. Okay. We're backing her out. Okay. All right, we're in the liquid cool tank. <laughs> Kid, don't let, don't let that throw you. Here, I'll pump that out. <laughs> okay. All right, we're fine. Cap Captain, the safety seven pong smell is beginning to smell. My God, look! It's Temp and Raiders right behind us. Quick, get into the thrust. We're going into battle, kid. Right. You don't have any time to practice. It's the real thing. File one. 
My God, you sent a short burst of fireworks above their head. They're entertained, but they're not stopping. Come on! It's all you being served. Oh, my God! Asteroids! No, it isn't. It's a happy eater. <laughs> Self-destruct! <laughs> I'm sorry I've made such a dreadful mistake. I'm sorry, did somebody say something? Please don't be cruel. I cruel? Don't... Cruel? How can I be cruel? I, I'm just an empty vessel, a shell, a pod, as it were. I've made a mistake. Don't please be cruel. I want to run my pea body lightly over your dreaming form. I don't care anymore. I've converted all my sugars into alcohol, and I'm... Hissed as a pea. I don't care. <laughs> Go, leave, Mr. Adventurer, Mr. Christopher Columbus of the Legume World. But it's just me and you now. The children have been eaten by the farm boys. No! <laughs> I can take you away from all this. Shelled before their time. <laughs> if we, can, we can escape through the end of the pod and then bounce off. Why didn't you go? Why didn't you sacrifice yourself, you selfish green bastard? so much when you're angry. Shall we do it? Come on, will you relax? I can't relax. This bed feels like a can of worms in it or something. Whoa. Look, 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 just... Look, your used tissues. For goodness sake. I'm and sorry, you, you I had a cold. Crumbs. You like to snack and watch TV. We like to watch other comedy oh, performers and make fun of them. You know that. Oh, what's the matter? I mean, yeah, you know, you live in your what, bed. You mean, spend half of your waking life and... What? What? Ooh, Look. Good. Thank you. I, you. You are just disgusting. Just let me go to sleep, for God's sake. What? Um, no, I don't. Fine. Well, I'll say good what? The, the, the what? what? Look, would you have to take all the breakfast God. things in with you? Well, I figure I can save a little time having breakfast in bed. <laughs> I get to work. Look, and... how old are you? How old are you? Old enough to have little Tony. Come on, Tony, why are you such a butt, huh? <laughs> what have you been doing with this? Cleaning the duck. <laughs> a clean duck is a happy duck. <laughs> Come on, please. What is just... Oops, well, you weren't around for a couple of days. <laughs> I can't believe I did. What about this? What? I mean, for crying out loud. <laughs> Whoa. Did you have Indian last night? <laughs> I mean, it really. Now, look, you made a mess in the bed. You made a mess in the bed. So, damn it. You yeah. clean it up. <laughs> you clean it up. <laughs> okay? Hello, welcome to another edition of Are You Pissed Off With Me? Today I'm going to discover whether Mike's pissed off with me. Mike, are you pissed off with me? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Okay, tune in next week. Bye. How am I getting late from the pub? I'll come home from the pub when I choose. This is my pod, it's my domain. Where's my supper? Why are you still in your dressing gown? Put your bra back on. I do not take any feminist nonsense from you. The dinner's in the fridge. The house is yours to clean. I'm leaving you. I'm joining a gang of lesbian biker peas. We're going to France to have a lick fest and then maybe after that, kick up our heels a little. Trudy, Trina, and little Miss Alvarez and I are gonna have a little fun for once. And we're sick and tired of your gender-oriented oppression. We are peas, we know no sex. All we know is fun, fun, fun. I slaved and worked while you've groaned on top of me, pretending I've enjoyed your advances when I've thought all the time of just slitting my own bag and dropping onto the ground. <laughs> This has come at quite a good time. Oh, now you're sensitive? I want you to meet Sebastian. <laughs> Mr. 
Mr. Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Yes, sir. It is indeed an honor to have been commissioned by the Royal Society to paint your official portrait for the National Gallery. I must admit I'm quite honored. And yet, at the same time, it's very nice to have an artist of your stature doing this. Please pose. A little on the dull side, do you think? Oh, sorry. Could we have the hat at a jaunty angle? Very well, sir. If you think that'll add something. Yeah. Certainly do. Arms akimbo. That's good, sir. That's good. That's good. Okay, give me a little more. Give me a little more. Look at me. Look at me. Make love to my sketch pad. That's it, you steaming hunk of 19th century engineer. That's right. We're getting there. Swallow that cigar. Put out, put out the cigar. Put out the cigar. Just hold it a little away, a little away from your mouth, and, and tongue it. Tongue the cigar. <laughs> yes, we are getting there. Tongue that cigar. Okay, now bend over. Turn away from me. Bend over and look back very suddenly. Yeah, that's it! We've got it! We've got it! Okay, stay down for a bucket of ice water. Just gonna slurry over you. Yes. yes, that's right. And turn to me now. Turn How me did now. you know that I've always wanted to be called Queendom? That's right! Let's see that magnificent suspension bridge. Ah. Yeah! Good! Got it! Okay. Oh, thank you very right. much. Right, okay, bye. I'll see you at the Hellfire Club at 7 p.m. <laughs> Sage and wise one, I came as soon as I could when I heard you making that noise, which went. <laughs> oh, ah. You are the wisest man on our planet, Obi Wonkinobi. <laughs> no, Death Star Walker, you have come again to sell me. I have two questions first. Yes. One question, in fact. What is it? I know what the Wonkinobi means, but what does the Obi stand for? Old and blind. Yes, I can feel the young face. Ah, uh, your father looked and felt much like that in his youth. My father, my father's dead. Uh, he was killed by the massed hordes of the savage... <laughs> the vicious tribe from beyond the third moon. Yes, and the chief of them, the evil Zorn. And he's the head of which tribe? I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. <laughs> but I know full well who they are. <laughs> But myself and your father confronted them many, many light years ago. What must I do to avenge my father? <laughs> First, <laughs> synchronized movement might be of help to you. I've tried for so long. I just can't get the hang of it. Soon you will. You'll reach the age. The same age that your father was when he died. There's something I must tell you. I am old and feeble, and my accent fades with each growing day. <laughs> you, st you state the obvious. Do not make fun of my young hairs. I don't know why they followed me in here. Go away. <laughs> Flopsy and Mopsy, shoo. And yet... I do not mock your young hairs, but maybe I will later. But let me tell you, 
you possess something that your father had, but which he used all too unwisely. I am frightened by your strange gaze. What are they doing here? <laughs> Go away! Go away! Ben! Nigel, go quickly and <laughs> redecorate the upper room. What? What force is it of which you talk? I speak of <coughs> the fluid. <laughs> the fluid? Yes. As in the phrase, may the fluid be over you? Yes. <laughs> what is this strange power? This strange power, the fluid, it's the same thing that your father had. Your father had the fluid, but he used it unwisely. He was profligate with it. He let his fluid go whenever he had a chance. <laughs> In the end, it weakened him and left him a dried out shell for Zorn to kill him and strike him down. I can do nothing but stand by idly and make a cake. <laughs> oh, you are so, you are so wise. Other elders mock you because you look like the Wicked Witch of the West, but, <laughs> but I will use the fluid wisely. Use the fluid wisely. You have not spent it yet, have you? You are at the age in which it bridles within you like an untamed palomino. Hold in your fluid, retain it in your viscosal gland. And when at the right moment you confront the evil Zorn, spray him like an ocelot in heat. <laughs> will I get a lightsaber? No, you'll get one of these naff sticks. <laughs> I go. My, 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 you are one pretty ovum. I see you made it past my protein coating, you big, strong spermatozoa. That's because I've got a mighty long tail. You must be an awfully powerful swimmer. Why, you must have outswam at least 500,000 of those mad little creamy devils to get in here. I came as fast as I could, as did my own. Well, I'm glad you're here, but now that you're here, what have you got that I need? I got a rose. Why, you romantic, you. Ow. And the prospect of some cell division. Well, in order to divide, you have to conquer first. <laughs> I'm gonna fertilize you so quickly. We're gonna be so fertile. We're gonna have triplets. Come. Take my hands. Yeah. Just kidding. Oh, <laughs> you're playing with me now, Missy. Yes, a mill is there. A mill is there. A mill is there. Oh, come, come with me. I'm doing it. I'm doing it to you. Good. Mm -hmm. What do you think? You think you should go ahead and just I think, add to the agenda on that one? I think so. I mean, I think the projected sales mm -hmm. on um, a book of this type are good enough to to warrant our investing a substantial amount of money in it. I just <laughs> feel that um, <laughs> uh, this, this, you know, this, there's, no, there's just no point in sort of pussyfooting around. That's all. Well, have we talked? Have we talked to? Have we talked to the back office about the demographics? <laughs> the demographics. I, I always think that's kind of a posh word when, when, <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when the people in the sort of top office don't actually know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, uh, it's often no, aware. Well, they don't know what they're doing. You know, it's, it's not. It's not, it doesn't reason why they don't know what they're no, doing. No, they, they, they have the job and they have to do it. They're part of the corporation, they're yes, part but, of the corporate yes, body. They, they, they are have costing to, like... us. <laughs> <laughs> they... <laughs> they are 
costing us money. Yeah. You know, it's uh, it's um, and it's our it's our money money yeah, they're costing. <laughs> Sorry, waitress, waitress, thanks very much. <laughs> so, I think the, pro the projected book sales are good enough. <laughs> but I think we should move as quickly as possible to Nottingham. Nottingham? I think that's where we'll really have a market. Do you think that would be mm -hmm. better? Mm -hmm. Sure. It'll be fine. You know, what's most important is we should take the author out to lunch. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> <laughs> Just to make sure we're speaking the same language. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So, um, so what, what do you think of a title for the book? Um, what about um, Everyday Guide to Modern Manners? Fantastic. Good. Okay. A through Z of etiquette. Okay. You bet Cheers. Chin chin. I feel it already. He is coming. Young box star skipper. Yes. I'm here, Darth Vader. <laughs> Excuse me, I have a cold. <laughs> but I will not save you, Scar Skipper! <laughs> I come... to def... <laughs> to defeat the dark side. Neither your light sword nor the forces of evil will protect you, and neither will your Barry Sheen impersonation. You are too weak. You are too puny. You don't have your father's blood. You don't have your father's courage. Ugh, put it back on. You don't have your father's baseball cap. But within me... <laughs> within me runs the force known as... The fluid. And I have... The fluid? I said it. The fluid. And you I... learned from the wizard Dodil? No, let me interrupt you some more. All right. You learned from the wizard Dodil? The wizard Dodil has taught me to conquer the forces of gravity. Whoa. I too can do that. Titanium butt shanks are mounted on steel springs. Your titanium butt shanks are nothing compared with the light sword. Ah! Ah! How about you? They're not meant to touch, are they? I'm sorry. You are. Have wisdom beyond your years. You know all the cheap sound effects. Oh, no, my hand! <laughs> my hand! It's gone! The sea dodo will save you now! I compensate for the loss of my hand! <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear you talk gruff now, Mr. Macho! I'm still the god of the galaxy! <laughs> and you will not defeat me! Therefore, I will die the honorable death of the night of the Pooba! <laughs> another chapter in the history of the fluid. No doubt about it. Gotta get a new swordsmith. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just really, uh... I'm really worried about this dance audition. Limber. Limber. <laughs> Just needs something else. Needs some. I don't know. Needs some. Um, needs some. Um, 
Give me a hat. That's a good idea. Hat. <laughs> You've either got... <laughs> What? You're not my real shadow. Y yeah, your uh, real shadow was, um... Would you mind just mirroring my movements, please? <laughs> <laughs> you are pathetic. What's happened to my real... Where's my proper shadow? Um, it's getting refitted. You've put on a little weight. <laughs> Pardon me, I haven't put, put on that much weight. Oh, no, I'm just an approximation, sort of a, a caricature-like drawing of what you will be like in a couple of years. You're going to lose a lot of hair if you're, you You're not an approximation. You're the size and shape of Brazil. <laughs> Go ahead. No, 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 no. I, I made the No, movement. no, it's easy to hurt me. It's easy to hurt me. I'm nothing. I'm nothing. I'm just a substance. I'm just umbrage. I'm nothing. You are not even a proper trained shadow. You're clearly some out of work. Would you walk the way I'm walking? <laughs> Listen, buddy. Right, I'm going to sit down. Cope with that. The hell with it. Why do we even bother? I'm your neighbor down the street. Oh, well, actually, down the, the path of dirt, actually. But uh, how are you? I thought I'd come in and uh, make friends. Sit on this inverted mammoth's foot. Well. Um, I heard you're the inventor for the tribe, and since I've just moved in, I'd like to see what you got going. Yes. My first invention, a big rock. My you bang things with. Mm, mm, mm. And now I have broken my legs. That's great, because I've invented the thing called a wheelchair. <laughs> which will just bring that around here. Okay, there. Ah, oh, good, good. That's right, so now you can move back and forth. Isn't that nice? Yes. Okay. <laughs> what else have you got for us, Flurm? I've invented a twig. Now, Flurm, are you sure that these have been invented? Yes. Or were they there already and you just happened upon them? I don't know. <laughs> I don't stretch. But anyway, what do you do with the twig? I don't know. Can I see it? Now, I've just invented something called sunglasses. Now, these will help you when it's dark or if you can't see. <laughs> Now, you may not be able to tell, but you look great. <laughs> My last invention to show you. Yes? I can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> ha, 
<laughs> well, that's what it's all about. Celebrity blindfold circumcision. <laughs> now, you just turn these, make sure they're done on both sides. Now, the vole is a very fatty animal. So when you're having a vole barbecue, you make sure they're very well marinated and they spend a lot of time on the grill. Well, come back next week to Tiny Cajun Barbecue Village. And Chef Pierre will show you how to serve up ants. <laughs> That's just one of the many ways you can surprise a policeman. Amen. Now, since we're all upstanding for the sermon, I would like to depart from the traditional mode of giving a sermon today, and I myself stepping back from the pulpit, well, not really, but letting the sermon be spoken today by none other than my penis. <laughs> You know, it's awfully easy nowadays, isn't it, to point the accusing finger. Some days we feel tall and on top of the world, and other days we feel small and shriveled up, don't we? Yeah. It's true. But no matter what size we are, we are all of equal stature in the eyes of God. And in my eye, which is looking at you now. You know, I often have had problems. The fact that I had a penis that was more of a theological partner than a sex tool. That's right. I often turned to the, the parables of St. Thomas Aquinas in order to help me through these dark times. For he alone, with his penis, conquered the concept of God and redefined the articles of faith. You know, it was St. Ignatius Loyola who once said, I wouldn't put that in the fridge if I were you. <laughs> What a happy day it is for the Federation. The dark forces have been defeated. The moonlit sky looks so near, it's as if I could reach out and touch it. Princess, that well, the Princess Leia. Duke Starsucker, how are you? You fought nobly and beautifully. Come sit with me. You've changed slightly. I have. Being held in the dungeon of the evil Narf Flavor has changed me quite a bit. Your but hair, it your hair is still as naff as ever. <laughs> He forced me to have this style. I'll change it soon enough. But before I do, there's something you should know. I know you've loved me for a long time, and, and you thought that I didn't care for you, and that I was in love with the, the ace pirate pilot, Hans Jabo. Hans Jabo, don't mention that name to me. Don't get your guff in an uproar about this. I want your you to time know away has robbed you of linguistic ability. <laughs> Don't get your guff in an uproar. Yes. Leah, that's meaningless. Oh, I'm sorry. But what is it meaningless is what what's, I'm going to tell you. What's the point Come. of all this meaningless pacing? You are the head knight of the Yada now. Yes. Have you seen what I can do with my light sword? You can do that and so much more. But I can't love you. I can't give you the love that you've dreamed of, the love that helped guide you to the battle, the love that made the opening to the death ship an easy entrance. I can't. Because we're related. It's never stopped me before. But it should now, because it's not as easy as that. Why? I'm your brother. You mean you're Sean? Yes. Sean of Planet X? Yes, I'm Sean of Planet X. In whom the dark forces have run in and out for centuries? Yes. I've been a cruel toy to the dark forces, but no longer. I found out Darth Flator, who you killed, was your father. Worse yet, our mother. 
is Miriam Margolis. <laughs> that's whom you remind me of. But that's... But if, if you could be as wonderful and talented as her, then, then we could repopulate the planet. It'd be against all natural law. But... It would get us another episode. <laughs> well, this is my boudoir, Captain. I hope you don't think I'm too forward about you in. Not at all, Missy. What a mighty fine bed, a king-size bed. <laughs> well, you know, it's a, a king-size bed for a queen-size girl, they always say. And that's what you are. Oh, why, you little flatter, you. That bed is so stuffed full of goose feathers, it makes me want to bounce on it. <laughs> well, go ahead and relax. Yeah, okay, let's bounce again. Oh, my goodness, this is devilish. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> so, huh, your turn. Oh, my, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, let's try to get by. Oh, you take me high and high, Cab. I swear to God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, now it's really high now. Oh, oh there's, there's somebody waiting to me as I come down. Oh, yeah. Whoa. This place needs dust in us. <laughs> oh, wow. You win. Whoa. Oh. oh. I'm cleaning my pants. Oh, wow. Oh. oh. Come on, let's try it again. Oh, let's yeah. get there. Let's get there. Yeah. Oh. Yes! Oh. 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 I think I've ripped my duvet cover. I can feel the fingers coming down the pod. This is it. This is our last chance to say goodbye. I've never really told you before, but I love you more than anything else. Oh, in the world. no, don't start with that. It's true. Don't, don't make me sad. Can you see the front of my trousers proudly tenting? <laughs> yes, I can. I'll throw you in the bin. Don't. Take care of you. yourself. I love you. Bye. I don't want to leave. No. I, I don't want to leave. Ah! <laughs>